Welcome back to Tense Layer Info. For Indian Navy, the main and vital intention is to inject almost 230 helicopters and among them are the 123 multi-role choppers and 111 of them are naval utility choppers. In August 2017, the Indian Navy floated the request for information for such helicopters deal. I have already uploaded a detailed video on this topic in my channel and I have provided the link for the same in the top right i button and in the detail section of this particular video for your quick reference. The reason why I am speaking about the same topic right now is due to HL's eagerness to win this particular contract and let me give you more details about how the advanced light helicopter is trying to win this contract. Even though the process to manufacture the 111 choppers indigenously along with a foreign partner is already in advanced stages with four Indian companies which has been shortlisted, the finalization is still pending due to HAL's participation. These private companies are not happy with HAL participating in this particular deal and they want them out of this contract. One of the main progress which HAL showed to Indian Navy is the two segment blade folding the tail boom folding, the software defined radio and changes related to torpedo, weather radar and also by reducing the weight of LRUs. The main requirement for such naval utility helicopters by Indian Navy is to replace the aging Westland Sea King choppers, the UH-3H Sea King choppers and HL Chetak choppers. The depleting strength of such Navy choppers are severely reducing the warship's combat capability and this is something very vital for Indian Navy and that's the reason they are looking for various options. The first successful deal of 24 Sikorsky MH-60R anti-submarine hunter helicopters was confirmed during Trump's visit to India in April 2019. The good thing was when Lockheed Martin revealed the first look of Sikorsky MH-60R Seahawk helicopter with Indian markings on Indian Navy Day which was December 4, 2020. This particular first pick of a beautiful chopper with Indian markings was revealed by Lockheed Martin India on the Twitter handle. Now coming back to HL's advanced light helicopter Mark III variant, which is being pitched for Indian Navy's contract, the certification of the tail boom scheme is expected to be completed by February 2021 tentatively. The concept studies were completed earlier and now the modified components are being realized and integrated onto the platform. We also saw updates regarding the first batch of Mark III variant advanced light helicopter which was customized for coastal security is slated for delivery to Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard shortly. Most of the customization was done primarily in consultation with Indian Coast Guard and for its coastal security role. These choppers has a nose mounted surveillance radar with 270 degree coverage that can detect, classify and track multiple marine targets. If we quickly see the general characteristics, this chopper has a length of 15.87 meters, width of 3.15 meters and a height of 4.98 meters. The maximum takeoff weight of Mark III variant along with skid stands at 5,500 kg. This helicopter is powered with 2 HL Turbomeca Shakti 1H turboshaft engine which has 1,432 shp each and this is for the Mark III and Mark IV variants. The maximum speed of ALH stands between 250 to 290 km per hour, range of 630 km and service ceiling stands at 20,000 feet. This chopper has a RWS-300 radar warning system, MAW-300 missile approach warning system and IDAS-3 self-protection switch from Sweden's Saab. With all the above features and customization and with foldable wings and tail boom, Will this particular chopper be selected by Indian Navy for the 111 Naval Utility Helicopter Program? According to me, I don't think HL's ALH would be best suitable for the role of Naval Utility Chopper on an aircraft carrier or any naval ships. Instead, Indian Navy should go for manufacturing a new chopper with the help of private companies along with a foreign vendor like Airbus which has offered the Eurocopter AS-565 Panther. The main attraction from Airbus is that Airbus helicopters promise to relocate the global production line for the AS-565 Panther to India if it is selected by the Indian Navy for a proposed utility helicopter acquisition program. 
please leave your comments as this was my opinion alone thanks for watching i'll upload another video with a new defense update or an aviation update later please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it and also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section thank you